guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about my go-to hairstyle. I've recently posted several pictures on Instagram wearing this style and I get a lot of questions from you guys. You use What products are you using? How do you do this? So I thought I would put together a very quick tutorial to show you guys how I achieve this look. I'm not one that likes to spend a lot of my time on my hair. I love long hair, I love a lot of volume, but it's one thing that I tend to neglect. If I run out of time in the morning, um, my hair is usually the last thing um, that gets any attention and if I've run out of time it usually goes either up in a bun or you know a messy bun and I'm out there. Having a go-to style that's quick and easy and you know having tools that are gonna make something like this achievable is super important. I first wanted to go over some must-have items in order to achieve this look. The star of the show that I want to share with you guys is my ISO Beauty ISO Trio. Three-piece curling wand. Set, you get three different sizes. Get a small barrel, a large barrel, and then a medium barrel, which I am currently using. I do alternate often between the big barrel and this barrel here just to give different size waves and maybe a different type of look. This thing is amazing. It um, has a nice on and off switch um, and it gets extremely hot. Can curl with the heat setting up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a extremely quick heating tool. You just hold the on off switch, it comes up. You can you know increase or decrease the heat depending on your preference. And as you can see, we're already at 230 um, degrees and rising. It also has a nice little plastic piece right here that allows you to set your wand down. I know in the past when I used different wands, they didn't have this and so it's constantly rolling around on your counter. So I find that really, really nice. You have the website listed below in the description box. I also have a coupon code for 40% off. I'll leave that listed below. I'll annotate it here. So if you're interested in picking up your very own um, ISO Trio, you can go ahead and purchase that with the code. Just so you know, the code is good for the entire website. They have straightener dryers, they've got all kinds of use conditioners, treatments, they've got all kinds of waivers, root styling combs, all different kinds of sets. So definitely check out the website, shop at 40% off, it is a great deal. I cannot stress enough the importance of having a very good hot tool when trying to style your hair. Not only is it going to produce style, but it's also going to be good for continuing to damage it as you apply heat to it. Tools of the trade to achieve a look like this, a really good curling wand. The second thing I would recommend is clips like this. I currently have some from Dry Bar, and let me tell you, these are amazing. You can pick these up at Sephora, you can pick them up on QVC's website, amazing. It's great for sectioning off your hair. Later in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to do this look, um, so you'll be able to see these in action, but these are perfect. Part of you know getting a nice style is sectioning off your hair and working section by section to make sure you're curling each individual strand. So hair clips. The next item is a firm hold hairspray. I highly recommend a full firm hold hairspray, especially this time of year. I don't know about you guys, but where I live, it gets hot, it gets humid, and if I'm going to take the time to curl my hair, I need something that's going to preserve the style. I'm currently obsessed with the Sheriff by Dry Bar. It's a firm hold hairspray. This is seven and a half ounces. Again, you can get yours from Sephora or QVC. I'll link where to shop below. This is amazing. It smells awesome. It's going to give you touchable, frizz-free control with a little bit of shine, so your hair's not going to look dry and crispy. I really, really like it. And then the last thing I would suggest is a very good texturizing spray. If you want that beachy textured look, I recommend the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. It's gonna give you those sexy, beachy, very effortless curls. I'm not big on blow drying my hair, 
So what I do is when I get out of the shower, I spritz this in my hair and then I let it air dry overnight. And then the next morning when I'm going to curl, this will be the last step after I hairspray my hair. I spray it on the ends and then scrunch as you'll see in the demo coming but i definitely recommend a really good texturizing spray bumble and bumble has a lot of really nice products um but the surf spray is kind of my jam this time of year when i want it to look effortless i woke up like this if you will These are my current go-to products for achieving a look like this if you're interested in seeing how i style my hair keep watching as you can see i've already curled part of my hair i like to work in three sections I take my fingers and I go right above my ear and I do the section underneath and then I kind of do this section right here and then I leave this top section for last. I like to use these claws. These are from Dry Bar. And so I'm going to show you how I curl using the curling wand. So I like to work from the forward, from the front back. So I'll just clip that off here. You can take a brush and smooth out your hair. I honestly, I prefer mine to be a little bit more natural looking. So now I'm going to take my ISO Beauty curling wand and I'm going to be curling away from my face. And what I like to do is put the curling wand here at an angle and then wrap my hair around it and I like to leave maybe one to two inches of the tail um, out if you don't you can go you know right around and leave less out it's totally up to you um, because this is curling at a high heat you don't need to leave it on for very long I like to leave it on maybe 10 to 15 seconds you can leave it on um, you know more or less since my hair does um, take a little bit more to curl I like to hold it in a little bit longer and then when it comes out this is what it looks like you can hold on to it let it curl cool a little or you can just let it fall as normal and this is what it looks like curling one behind the hair and wrapping around leaving a tail and holding it for 10 to 15 seconds. You just continue to curl section by section, going away from your face. So once I've curled my hair, I usually let my curls completely cool. Then you're gonna wanna take your favorite firm hold hairspray. I am currently using the Sheriff from Dry Bar. Spray the curls. Be generous with the hairspray. I like to take my fingers and really break up the curls. That's what's going to give it more volume and less uniformity. Take a texturizing spray. I'm currently using the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. This is awesome. This is going to give you more of those beach beachy waves and I like to you know lift up the curls spray and then scrunch them so you're getting that beachy wave look versus you know Miss America curls <laughs> again generous amount don't be afraid to use product and then just scrunch and you can leave it like this and go or my favorite thing to do, because I can't stand when stuff's in my eyes, is just twist with the curl and give a little pop and pop a bobby pin and then give it a little bit more spray. A very, very easy, simple style. It looks effortless, it looks very natural. Um, I highly suggest investing in a really, 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 really nice curling wand. Again, my curling wand of choice is from ISO Beauty. I'll leave the website below. Shop the link, pick up a curling wand. Do you have any questions? And leave them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.